All right, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to be showing you how to mirror a part, okay? Now, before I go through this, I want to go up real quick and show you that under linear components over here, there's a multiple features that are very nice and very useful to use in SolidWorks. And I'm going to be showing you how to use most of these in the exercises coming up. But in this exercise alone, I'm just going to go ahead and go over the mirror component option. Okay, now to mirror a component over here in the assembly mode, you're going to have to create a plane that you, to mirror about. Okay, now what I've done is I opened up the part called clamp. This is the assembly. It's called clamp. Now remember, before we've created an assembly and called it uh, the Staco clamp, which was this exact thing, but it was full of sub-assemblies. If you look over here now, they're all made out of parts. And that's because I can't do anything from here. All these linear circular patterns, everything over here, I can't use them unless I am using the uh, using parts over here. So I can only mirror parts about each other and they have to be right under the main subassembly. So basically I can't create a linear component unless it's part of the subassembly. So if I have to create a linear component or using the linear feature over here, I have to create it that is using the parts that are under the main subassembly or if I have to create, if there's a subassembly, I have to create a component, a mirror component or whatever I'm trying to do over here, linear component, but it has to be all of it. All the components used that are mirrored have to be under that one main subassembly. Okay. So for example, here, I want to make, I want to mirror multiple parts. I want to mirror this part, this part, this part, and this part. So basically like, look at this as over here cut in half. So if you cut this in half, I want to mirror the left side with the right side. Now that can be useful as well if you're if you're creating a part that most of the features are uh, the same on both sides. So you can create one mate system for one side and then mirror everything about the other side of it. So before you can mate anything, you need to create a plane to be able to mirror about. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and click on insert over here, reference geometry and click on plane. What you need to do, now I already had the surface selected so I'm going to unselect it real quick and I'm going to basically click on the inside of this part right here and then what I'm going to do is click on the inside of this part. What that does is that creates a plane over here and as you can see SolidWorks guesses what I want to do with this because I selected two surfaces like that that are parallel to each other. SolidWorks right away assumes that I want to create a plane that is right in the middle right in between those two uh, plates that I have created over here and that's exactly what I want because I want to mirror everything on the left side over here to the right side over here okay now that I have that created okay click on OK and SolidWorks will create plane number two over here for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand this out a little bit okay just so you can see the plane a little bit better okay so now if I want you can click on the plane and let's call this plane mid plane so just do a slow double click on it and it will allow you to change the name of it mid plane and hit enter so now that I got my plane, I'm ready to create my feature. But before I do so, I already have all the parts over here. Let's go ahead and hide these parts that I don't, that I want to duplicate. So go ahead and click on that. Click on each part and click on hide component. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to take one, two, three, uh, and four right here, the last bracket, and mirror them about this mid plane right here. Because remember, if I move this plane right here, it's right in the middle exactly where I want it to be and I want to mirror everything over here about the plane that I have created. So let's go ahead and click on the linear component pattern and go all the way down under mirror component. First it's going to ask you for the mirror plane. That's exactly why we created this plane. So just go ahead and click on that plane. Second you're going to click on all the components to mirror. Now if these components are part of a sub-assembly and they're separate sub-assemblies, when you click on one it will not let you, it will give you an error, it will not let you uh, mirror that component. It has to be part of the main assembly. So go ahead and select this component, this component, this one, and then zoom in to this one right here. And as you can see, you got all your components. They're called bracket two, five, three, and one. And then click on next. Don't click on OK. Click on next because you want to see how they will look like. Now, as you can see, most of them look good. So the first one on top looks good. If I move it a little bit to the right, the one on top over here looks good. The one over here looks good. You can see it over here a little bit, the yellow feature. But then the one at the bottom, as you can see, the little feature over here is, is over here and the feature that is over here is over here. So they're flipped, but they're not flipped correct. 
So if you actually select each one separately, you're going to see them highlighted in purple. Okay, so if you look at the last one, this is going to be the, the one over here. There you go. So the bracket number three is the bottom bracket. Now if you go down here, SolidWorks allow, allows you to reorientate the component. So if you click left, you're going to see different orientations of the part. But none of them are the ones you want to use. Okay, so go back to the original one. And then what you can do is come over here and it says create opposite hand version. Okay, so if you click on it, all of a sudden you see that this end ends up being over here. So it's kind of like taking that one and flipping it around. It takes the part and it flips it around. Because really those two components are different. They're not actually the same. So if you actually take that part and, 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 and rotate it over here, that's when we get this component right here. So that means that this bracket is actually not the same as this bracket. So if I click on create opposite hand, now you're going to see a new symbol, which means that's what you've clicked. That means that we've created a, a, a component that is different than the original component. We flipped the original component. So it's almost like we designed the part and created it within SolidWorks. So after you have that done, click on the next. Okay, and now SolidWorks allows you to either create a new file from these parts. Okay, you can call mirror if you want. You can add a prefix, suffix, or a custom name if you like. You can also change the location of that. Or you can also add a place, a pl place a file in folder, in one folder. That's within the assembly and what I've went through in our previous sessions. Let's go ahead and just keep, create a derived configuration uh, in existing file. Because I want to show you how it looks like when you're done when you do that. And then click on the next button. Okay. And the last one over here, it says click in the graphical area to place the part or hit OK button to insert the parts in the origin. And it's going to create a solid bodies and it's going to be cosmetic threads. And you can actually select different ones that you want to add as well. Under here you have the options to break link to original part or orient preserve Z axis. Okay. Now I'm just going to click on OK. And SolidWorks will create them for me. So as you can see, they look exactly like the previous ones that I have hidden. So if you can, the, you know, the one I have hidden over here, if I can just show component, you're going to be able to tell that it's right over it. When SolidWorks, whenever SolidWorks shows you these little lines and stuff like that, that are over, that looks weird, that means you have a component exactly over the component or right on the surface or a surface that, a part that you have two surfaces that are intersecting. That's why it looks like that. Okay. So there you go. That's how you mirror a part in the assembly mode in SolidWorks 2014.